How about an answer, Tony? Uh, say again, Charlie. I'll oh, bypass. No, I'm nine. I'm on nine. Yeah, nine's I'm good, Charlie. I'm gonna bypass nine and go to uh, ten. Okay, that's I just fine too. Pass it on. I'm going to go to ten. Okay. Let's see. There's okay, it's rolling the bottom of it anyway. Okay. And that one should be fairly near the double core, Charlie. It is within uh, three meters, uh, two meters. That's fine. Is that okay? Okay. Look at that, the core tube caps go on and everything. Okay, that bottomed it out, Tony. Okay, we can see that. That looks good. Why don't we go to the two tenths and do it just about the At same about, place? Uh, almost. Okay. And then work towards the... Uh, Work towards the deep core. This the last time we use this thing? This the last time we use this thing? And it should be. Can't remember. We don't have on, on DBA-3, we don't use it, huh? Uh, not right now. Well, I'll put it back anyway. Could you move over, Scotch? Let me. Yeah, that rammer jammer only went in uh, an inch. That's okay. That's okay as long as it gets out of the cap. Yeah, well, you got it so full. Probably got it so full. That mess them up. Uh, you're going to leave that cap on it anyway. But I thought that cap stays on. Yeah. Until it gets back to Houston. There's the two tenths. Going to eleven, Tony. Okay. Hey, where's the, the top thing that goes on, Charlie? Okay, uh, the uh, the one for the uh, bottom is uh, right there by the LSM on top of the uh, pallet. And there's a core tap. Uh, core goes on the uh, a cap goes on the top part. You see it? Sure okay, right by the LSM or the LPM, there's a screw on just like on the top part. Yeah. Okay, that screws back in the bottom part. Yeah, but what? There you go. You got it. Yeah, that's good. Now ram that one. And uh, and then put a cap on the other one and give them the numbers. Okay, Tony, here comes the two tenths. Okay, sounds good, Charlie. Okay, Charlie, we see that. Okay, the upper one was 40. The upper one was 45. The bottom one was 4. Okay, John, sounds good. Hey, Tony, be advised, I'm sorry that I'm spiking this thing out occasionally, but it's the only way we can do it. Uh, uh, that's fine, Charlie. We see the problem. I'm, okay, I'm moving. Uh, I got two more to do. Cycling the 12. This is about a fourth of the way, right here. Okay. Okay, number 12. And John, uh, we should wait on your pan until uh, Charlie's through there. Understand. <laughs> okay, 
That's about the same distance, Tony. Okay. Cycling at 13. Hey, John, while you're sampling okay, there, you might look around and see if you see in that vesicular basalt. Okay, That's what I'm looking for. Good show. I told him you were. Whoop. Okay. We see that one went all the way in. Not quite. John, uh, stand by for a feed water tone. It's got it. How's that? <laughs> and go on the ox water. Okay, cycling to, uh, okay. Cycling to 14. Okay, Charlie. Okay, Charlie, uh, one flat plate by the double core, and that'll about do her. Okay. Okay, Tony, the, uh, uh, that connector, the printed circuit on the heat flow, is still in. Okay, we understand. Uh, the, uh, it looked like the silver part uh, broke off... Uh, Right where it's made it into the uh, into the, uh, the printed circuit. Okay, we copy that. Charlie, I just don't see any vesicular basalt. I don't either. 
sort of like uh, they're always there when you need them. And John, as uh, Charlie yeah, takes this penetration, now, we can uh, go ahead and take your pan. Okay, Houston. Back lane of 15. Okay, good show. And somewhere between this mass of footprints. Aha, there it is. Okay, Tony, you're right beside uh, Double Core. Okay, Charlie. <laughs> okay, that was a pretty good one. I think it's going to turn out, and it was, uh, it went in about. Sample bag four on top of the 